Hi guys, Micro here. This is my video on the new best hunter method for experience. And these are the charming moths in the wilderness in which you can get 900,000 hunter experience per hour. These are now better than one ticket ornate turtles and everything like that. So let's get right into this video to showcase this awesome method. Starting off as always with the requirements. The requirements for this is 88 hunter to actually catch the charming moths. And on top of the 88 hunter, you need 83 agility to catch them barehanded. You can also use a Yatui stick in your main hand and it still counts as catching them barehanded and gives you the additional XP. The only other requirement is a demonic skull. You purchase this for 550k from the Zami wizard in the wilderness, the one that takes you into the abyss. So it does require you to do the mini quest to access the Zami wizard. That's it for the requirements, now into the setup. When it comes to my setup, I have numbered each of the items and there'll be a link in the description to every single wiki page of each item with the name of the item next to it. I'm going to give a rundown of this setup, but if you want more info on a particular item, check the description and you can find more info on the particular number that you want. But for this setup, we have the Elite Trapper outfit. Then we have the Demonic Skull for number two. Demonic Skull does allow you to get PK'd by any level, but it gives you 20% more XP, which is a big chunk of XP, and I definitely would recommend it. I've got an Amulet of Glory, which allows you to teleport up to level 30 Wilderness, and that's really nice, because Charming Moths are in around level 27 to 29 Wilderness, and you can easily teleport out if you find a PKer. Number four, we have the Yatui Stick for more XP. You can still catch Moths barehanded with a Yatui Stick in your hand. Number five is something that isn't very known, and that's a Ring of Metamorphosis. This Ring of Metamorphosis gives you a chance to get double XP when catching butterflies, and it has 10 charges. It doesn't proc that much, but the double XP whenever it does proc is lovely. I take Hunter Urns and an Urn Enhancer. Remember, you are going into the wilderness, so you may not want to take too many urns. You use 80 urns an hour, so you could just take 80 and that will do you for the full hour. I have extreme hunter potions on number 8, a ring of kinship on number 9 to teleport close to the charming moths. And then I have food for PKers, I have one brew and a couple of rock towels. Then on number 10 I have an arctic bear. Arctic bear pouches are really useful because obviously you want to get the increase to hunter gains and this familiar boosts it. Then I have a super restore if I need that for prayer if a PKer comes or to renew my summoning points for more arctic bears. That's it for my setup. Like I said, if you want more info on any of these items, check the description. We're moving on now. Something that you guys might be thinking is, can I reclaim my Yatui stick? Yes, you can. Just go to Yatui, buy a normal Yatui stick from his store for 2k, talk to him, upgrade it back to an enhanced Yatui stick, and you're good to go again. So if you ever do get PK'd and lose your stick, you can get it back very easily right here. The Charming Moths are located right here in the wilderness above the Green Dragons and just to the west of Damonheim as you can see. So the easiest way to get here is literally getting here with a Ring of Kinship to Damonheim running round and up. It's a very easy way to get here and I find it to be the most chill way so I always use the Ring of Kinship to get here. I'll teleport with the Ring of Kinship to Damonheim, then I'll bank the Ring of Kinship because I don't want to lose that if I was to die because then that just makes it more awkward another thing to reclaim. And it clears up an inventory space for some charms. Once I bank the Ring of Kinship, I'll then run outside of Damonheim to the southwest. Once you're outside of Damonheim, you'll literally just run north until you get to around 27 Wilderness and the Charming Moths are right there. Once you're here, you can then just click a Charming Moth and go ham. All types of butterflies were updated with the new Hunter modernization. Charming Moths were one that was updated as well, which means they're semi-AFK now. You click a Charming Moth and you chase after it for a while, normally between 30 seconds to 3 minutes in my experience, then it will disappear and you'll go click another Moth. So not only is this 900,000 Hunter experience an hour, 130,000 Agility experience an hour because you're doing it barehanded, it's also semi-AFK. Yes, it is in the wilderness. Yes, you are using a demonic skull, but I did this quite a lot in testing to get accurate XP rates, and I never saw a PKer. And like I said, if you do see a PKer, you have a Amulet of Glory that you can literally just right-click and teleport out instantly with, or if you keybind it, you can press the keybind, press the number, and you're instantly out as well. Because these aren't further in the wilderness than level 30, 
you can use that teleport straight away and you can easily get out before any PKS sees you. If you do want to maximize your trips just for an hour, in my testing I used 80 urns an hour and 50 charges of rings an hour which is 5 rings. So if you just want to bank every trip to be on the safe side so you don't lose too much money if you do die to a PKer, you're going to want to take 80 urns and 5 rings. That way that will last you for the whole hour. The demonic skull increases the experience by 20% so I would heavily recommend it. But say you're a level 3 skiller or something and you don't want to risk dying, doing it without the skull obviously isn't that bad anyway. You're still going to get over 700k experience now without the skull. So yes, the skull is amazing, but you're still going to get close to, if not the same as one tick in ornate total rates without the skull. With the skull, you just get best in slot rates. This method is literally insane and so, so awesome to do. I would recommend anyone to do this if they're going for 120 Hunter now. It's really chill. It is really, really chill. And it's so much easier to do than the other high tier methods like one tick in ornate totals or big game Hunter, etc. This is so laid back, it's insane. On top of all of this, this is my hour worth of charm loot. I got 52 blues, 216 crimsons, 240 greens, and 352 gold. That's actually a really high amount of charms an hour. That's going to help you towards 200 mil summoning or whatever if you're going to go for that. Definitely a nice little added incentive to do this method alongside the amazing XP rates. That will be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this does help you with a nice new method. Remember it is the wilderness so don't take anything that you're not willing to lose. Give the video a like if you did enjoy. And as always until next time. See ya.